Well, the Committee to Strengthen National Service says the Singapore Armed Forces should seriously consider making provisions for first-generation permanent residents to contribute as volunteers. It was responding to the IPS survey that we just told you about. The committee which is reviewing the support network around national service met at the Home Team Academy today. Committee members were briefed by IPS on the findings of the recent survey. The survey showed two-thirds of Singaporeans are supportive of first-generation PRs to contribute as volunteers in the defence of Singapore. What you realise from this particular survey is that no, actually majority are not asking them to serve exactly the same two years system. You know, in fact, serving the two years is a privilege. You know, I'm quite glad that many people really realise that. And that should be a privilege that belongs to Singaporean. The committee also felt there's a disconnect in the perception of how employers are supporting national service. The IPS survey showed that more than four out of five servicemen say employers are supportive of their income training. However, two out of five servicemen pointed out that employers prefer to hire people who do not have NS commitments. I think some time uh, depends on individual companies. They might choose to have preference over others who actually pose less of a challenge in terms of their work arrangement. So I, I find that it's not hard to accept. So I, I think the challenge right now moving forward is how can we mitigate that kind of challenges in a way uh, we find the right balance. The committee said more engagement with employers is needed to get a better buy-in from them on national service. The key thing is to look at what their concerns are and how to encourage more employers to be NS-friendly.